Hi, as you can see, I've got a double swing gate here and it has a certain problem. I open the gate and you'll see on the right hand side, there you go. So how do you solve this problem? Right, now the Hansa uh, double swing openers, these 220 volt ones, they no longer sell spares anymore. I contacted Nice Hansa uh, this morning and they done with this. This is now old stuff, so you're on your own now. There are a few people who uh, engineer some of the components if you need, but overall, you're on your own here, and I'm going to show you how I'm solving this problem today. All right, so I'm just going to open this up. Okay, so what's causing the problem is this brass gear. It's actually gotten worn out. You see, look how much free play there, there is there. And that is causing the gate to go, mm, mm, mm. this is from another gate. You can see how it's worn down here, but here it is brand new. I mean, these teeth are in great condition. So one could actually just shift this up a bit. And that's what I'm gonna do today. Right, I've switched off the power and I have to remove these wires because I want to disassemble this uh, entire unit. So it's good idea to take a photo and to work out the order of the wires. Uh, just a note, you don't have to take out all these wires. You can release the two nuts and just separate the unit while it's still connected. I just wanted to have it all open, but obviously it is quicker if you just leave the wires in place, release the nuts, separate the unit while it's still there um, in the housing. So you can do it that way. It is possible to do it without undoing all the wires. Right, so I'll just lift it here, release the belt, and just want to release these. What do you call these things? Limit switches. And just note the, the wiring for these limit switches. You see, otherwise you'll think the gate's open when it's closing. Right, I've released the limit switches. Okay, so now I need to get to this car. It might be a good idea to remove this now for the reason that, uh, you know, it's in the way. So there's the, the problem. See there, you can see that free play. Look at that, way too much free play. That. See, that's how it's supposed to be no free play. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this thing instead of traveling from there to there, I'm going to let it travel from there to there, the other way around. So, it uses the new part of this uh, brass gear. Right, so what I'm doing is I've swapped these around so I can use the other part of this gear. Now make sure when you put this on that it sits in the little recess there. There's an edge here which must go into that and mine is a bit worn so I'm going to put a little washer on it so that it sits nicely there. So now I've swapped these two and as the worm gear moves, I can now get this good part, which has got quite a lot of traction. 
and I've just put that back on just to ch test it. Perfect. Tightening up a bit there, but by the limit switch would have already engaged. You can hear these bearings. They don't sound very good. They uh, they could be changed. I've tested them. They're a little bit loose, actually. These are called TR bearings. Right, so look at this. It's better. Not perfect, but I can still shift this in a bit, which I'm going to do now. If you're going to tap it in, just make sure you check the entire travel. Okay, it's quite good. Let's check there. Yeah, and then it would have hit the limit switch again. So now I can just tap it a bit more, give it a bit more. So see? Okay, that's too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap this one a bit and tighten it. So at least I've got one side that's slightly tightened. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to tap this on back a bit. Okay. Ah, it's very good. It's very good. I would like it a little bit more in. Okay, it's a bit too much. Uh, that's too much. Now, just quickly, uh, this limit switch has got a little bit uh, collapsed in there. And ideally, you should buy a new one. But I've fixed these before. All you do is just put a screwdriver like that. And you just peel it open. Just be very careful. You don't want stuff to fall out. There we go. Now it's open. And as you can see, the little push little button here the red part is actually a bit stuck so what has happened is it's just, it's just this this opening here just got a bit uh, a bit squashed so I'm just uh, reopening it just uh, filing it a bit here with the screwdriver there we go now obviously you would get a new one but I'm just showing you that uh, right now it's like six o'clock uh, I ain't gonna find a limit switch at this time see perfect and if you want to you could spray some contact chemi in here which is a contact cleaner but i can see the contacts are actually in very good condition so i'm not worried about the condition of the contacts there we go and because it's being compressed with the other one i'm not worried about this thing um, not working so they're actually compressed onto each other Okay, don't over tighten these because this is just a limit switch. It's plastic. There we go. And now this one must be tight before you put it on. So I'm just going to make sure this is tight. It's not tight at the moment. Okay. Check. Perfect. You don't want it to, yeah, it will be too much. It must be able to move through should the gate. Let's just check. Yeah, there's still space there. That's it. Okay, so I've swapped these two around. I've greased it with some general purpose grease. I only need to grease the part where it's moving between there and there. And as you can see, I've swapped those around. I've now put the little um, uh, current sensor here, which is for the, when it exceeds a certain pressure. I don't think many people use that. And then I've just put the limit switch back on. The belt you must put first before that, otherwise you can't squeeze it on. And now you're just going to reseat this on here. <coughs> 
like that and you have to um, you have to lean this over to get the belt on like that and now I put the washers right you you'll have to just push this up sometimes the plate rests on the um, the flywheel here and another thing is you might need to realign these look that's about enough it shouldn't deflect more than about a centimeter so that's 10 mils that deflection is fine keeping in mind that when you tighten these screws it is going to tighten in place I'll retest the tension of this I did have to change these um, the little tensioning nut at the back here there's a little tensioning nut at the back there you just adjust it with the spanner Right, once you are happy, okay, so I've rewired the wires. I'm now just going to connect the limit switch wires, but remember, we're going to swap them now because we swapped the position of those um, raised plastic pieces which engage the limit switches. Right, I've put the limit switch wires back. I've also sprayed some contact chemi in. This is a deoxidizer, it's excellent. You just spray it inside and it helps uh, break down any oxidization. Also, I've soldered this some time ago. Right, now I'm gonna leave it out and test it. Okay, so it's opening now. So I can already tell it's wrong because it's just opened and because it's just opened, it should actually be closing now. So it's going to sleep in the open position. So the closed position, I'm going to swap the limit switches now. Right, I've stopped the limit switches, the wires. Right, now I'm going to open it. And let's see if it closes by itself. Right, so that's it. Now I'm going to connect up the arm and we'll uh, connect it to the gate. Just be careful when putting this in. You don't want any of these wires to get caught. So just do it carefully. And then careful for fingers. Best to first thread these by, by hand, just in case you cross thread them, if you, especially if you use an impact screwdriver. Okay, now I did have some alignments here, but I think they're going to be a bit off now because I have shifted things around. So I'll just consider them provisional. But what I'm mostly interested in is listening to the gate. Is it going to be loose? Is it going to go din din again? I don't think so. It feels very tight. Let's go for it. Right, so I've been using this for a few days. Um, just excuse the alignment marks there. That's just to make sure because I'm using mag locks. So the one gate has to 
close first so that the mag lots engage. Now, if you look at it, this is the um, outcome of this repair. I'm going to open the gate now and if you see how it's got no free play. Look at that. That's very good. Um, nothing here. Here a little bit. There's a there. Towards the end of the travel, it's got a little bit of free play. Obviously, this is still loose. But if I look at this arm, look at that. Those teeth are now very close into that worm gear. So the brass gear and other gear are actually close. So that solves this problem. 